Okay, now the controls in Hydra Thunder Hurricane are really good, very responsive, and pretty slippery sometimes, but that's pretty good mostly because you're in water, so I'm pretty sure it's supposed to feel slippery. You know, you're not supposed to go and, ooh, it feels like I'm driving on land. No, you're in water, so you're going to slide a little bit, and you're going to hit stuff you didn't want to. It takes a little time to get used to them, but when you get used to them, they feel really good, they feel very responsive, and I really, really like the controls. So overall, great controls. And let's go on to the sound of the game. Okay, the sound in the game overall is pretty decent. When I say pretty decent, I mean the sound effects themselves sound really cool. There's some really cool environmental effects like the water splashing whenever you're you're going really high up and then splashing into water or something. And how the and the boats actually sound, they sound really really good overall. But the voice acting in the game, there's a, a little bit of voice acting. The narrators and stuff like the uh, the they don't really comment. They kind of comment on your driving. Specifically, they don't go, oh, this guy's in the lead and stuff. Like, no, not commentary, but they pretty much comment on your, like, oh, you're, oh, there's a boost, use it. And, like, it's a little annoying, but, you know, there's not that much of it. Now, the main menu guy, whenever you start the game, he always has to yell, Hydro Thunder Hurricane. And then when you're going to, like, expert boats, he's like, you're crazy. I'm like, I thought that was a little cheesy. The voice acting overall is pretty cheesy, but it doesn't ruin the game at all. So, and I think the, the environmental effects sound pretty good. So overall, pretty decent sound effects. I mean, I mean sound overall. So yeah, let's go on to the graphics of the game. Okay, now the graphics in the game overall, I think they look really good. I like the water effects. Uh, sometimes it looks like maybe like a sheet of glass or something you're just going through. But sometimes it looks really cool, like a bunch of waves go by and stuff, and you're just like lifting up off the water and stuff. I like the water effects. They're pretty good overall. Uh, the boats themselves look really cool. When they explode, it looks a little cartoonish and stuff, like you get exploded and it just like, like it just jump cuts and your just thing is just brown and, explo and it's like broken up and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay, that looks a little you know, weird, but overall the environments themselves look pretty nice, and the stuff that goes on in them, like some uh, places you'll go to a different world or something, it's very uh, crazy, the game's pretty crazy, it's an arcade game, so I mean it's an actual arcade game, it used to be in the arcades, now it's Xbox Live arcade game, so yeah, there's like stuff like you'll be on a place and then freaking Odin will come alive, I'm like what the hell, and there'll be like a uh, a big Venus flytrap or something. I don't think that was in the game, but you know, you you get what I'm saying. Uh, a whole bunch of weird stuff happens, and they all look very nice and very cool. And just you know, I I thought it looked nice. I thought it looked nice for a fifteen dollar download. So overall, graphics are pretty good. Let's go on to the gameplay of the. Okay, now the gameplay in Hydra Thunder Hurricane is really fun, very fast, and pretty awesome. I have to admit. Now I'm not a big racing uh, game fan. And I've been playing other games that came out this year, like Blur and Split Second. The only reason why I played those is because they're crazy and they're freaking insane, pretty much. You blow people up with freaking, ex like, just weird things. Split Second more of that than Blur, but I just thought it was crazy in those games. And I love those kind of racing games. I don't like serious racing games. I want games that doesn't take itself seriously. I want freaking burnout explosions. And that's what I get in, in uh, Hydro Thunder. Well, you don't get burnout explosions, but you do get crazy jumps off stuff, boosting, very fast gameplay, and you don't get really any combat. You can hit other boats, and they'll go and skid off and blow themselves up on the stake. But there's no real combat in the game. I just think it's a lot of fun just to go really fast and, like, and try to get to the first place, man. You're, like, getting boosts everywhere. You could go take shortcuts and stuff. And it's really, really cool. I remember loving it in the arcade, the actual arcade, not Xbox Live. And I love it on Xbox. It's a really fun game. Now, the multiplayer is a lot of fun also. And there is a lot of people playing it still. I mean, not a tons, but a lot. I would say, uh, and it's a lot of fun, too, they have a, a game mode called Rubber Ducky, where you have to go protect the Rubber Ducky or something, I didn't play it all that much, someone has to be the Rubber Ducky, and you have to protect them and stuff, I didn't play it, but, uh, mostly because no one wanted to play it for some reason, every time I go there, they're like, ah, eh, screw it, let's go play racing, I'm like, okay, fine, I played a lot of the racing, it's very fun, but it's the same, you know, it's the same as single player and stuff, you also have other modes in the single player, like, you could do championship, you could do, like, uh, go through the rings and stuff, and it's, pretty fun, and I, I would say the replay value of this game is really high, mostly because it has multiplayer and all these other modes. So overall, I really like this game. It's a short review. I'm just going to say, really fun game. This Summer of Arcade was awesome. I'll just say it right here. Castlevania, that's the only game I'm not going to review from the Summer of Arcade that I don't have. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's my Summer of Arcade review. I'm done with Summer of Arcade for me. 
yeah, if I do review Castlevania, if I do get a review copy, then sweet. I'll review it then. It will be the end of some of Arcade, but it doesn't look very likely. So, there you go. Hydra Thunder Hurricane, very fun game. Go pick it up. And, yeah, if you're a big racing fan. And, yeah, thank you and bye.